Hello, this is Ted again. Welcome to my world of modelling. This week it's a similar theme, the old pirate theme, one of my favourites. Um, so this took a bit of working out this one, didn't it? It did actually, I've been out quite a few weeks now. I've done something, I'm glad to get a few. <laughs> no. I don't think anything, I haven't really checked, I don't think anything worked. So what have we got? Well look, the theme is uh, it's a look, the pirate fortress under fire from a naval ship out in the harbour. And we're in there, just joined in the middle of the middle of the battle. So we've got the three main figures there at the front. I'll just let you figure that for yourself. I'm concentrating on the that's the ship's cannon. The pirate's cannon. You're spotting the plumes of water at the back. Did you see the first one? Oh, I, I, I think I saw it. Plume of water by the ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was obscured by this pirate there. Ship's cannon. It took a few weeks to build this one, yeah, didn't it? Yeah, ship again. Ship? It's an explosion. Yeah. <laughs> We're about to get drowned as well, I think. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> I'd be close to cut the wall now, ship, ship's cannon. <laughs> Shall we look round the, uh, round the back? Oh, don't worry about the rain. You don't worry about the rain? The camera's waterproof, don't worry about it. Yeah, but I'm not sure if the mic <laughs> I think it should be. Well, this everything works. It's Half it works with this uh, the crank, and now we've just got this pulley system. So the the plumes of water from the pirate's cannon. Like One solid. explosion. So this, this is only a bit of um, and this how all works. So this is the um, that's explosion at the back of the ship. Yeah. This is the ship's cannon. And this explosion on the floor. Yeah. And this is the explode the uh, from the cannon, pirate's cannon. Sorry, it's no, no it is. <laughs> it's this one, sorry. Something fell off. <laughs> Trump <laughs> I'm getting sorry with the bloody rain now. Pardon, pardon my language. Uh, <coughs> uh, what do you think? Very nice. Did you notice the uh, the birds? Yeah, I saw the seagulls there. Yeah. But did you see the nesting on the side? Oh no, I never saw that one. The eggs. The two eggs. Yeah. Trying to finish inside. <laughs> yeah. So we've come inside to escape the rain. Yeah. Okay. Just tell me when you're starting it. That was it. Oh, 
Hadi sen öyle. Here we are again, back in the dry. I think you've pretty much seen how everything works now, haven't you? Just have to remember to glue it to pull. So that's it. It's, um, it's a bit time consuming. Very time consuming. I spent quite a bit of time there in my shed. I suppose that's modelling in general, haven't you? Yeah. Funny, your mother don't seem to mind. <laughs> Maybe that's a secret about yeah. the <laughs> My mate Bob, who used to work with, just tell me once that um, he was happily married for four years. The trouble was, he was married for 46. <laughs> so, anyway. It's a shame really, but it's a nice place. Anyway, shall I show you just a little bit of yeah. how I constructed it? Shall I strip it down? Go on then. Um, let me take me back one minute to strip it down. We'll just get this side up. Could have left these screws up through there. Here we go. So that should just clip off there now. So that's the side. Hmm. So that's how the uh, wave effect is. So you get the, the motion of the waves. It's eccentric cams. Bit similar to the other one about, do you remember? Yeah. The eccentric cam. <coughs> That's how that works. I have to put my glasses on there. Here's what I use in my shed. Yeah, but I'll just do the screw. The system I use now for the, the, a lot of the movements, because it's foolproof, make it myself, it doesn't take very long. So what I do, I get a piece of uh, brass rod that just fits inside brass tube, yeah. like so. Right. So I drill a hole in the brass rod, insert a panel pin, super glue it, fold it back off, and then put another piece of scrap brass in the tube and cut the grooves right down the length of it yeah. and then file it with a needle file until it, that runs nice and smooth so it's absolutely foolproof this one that just slots in the position and that's how the movement comes simple but foolproof a lot of the uh, action on this is this this method plus nothing but just one length of brass rod and one length of tubing same as this one uh, I'll just take that for time there. But those moments are the same, look. The blast on the on the ship, look. Yeah. Same principle. That's the same, which is yes and hang on. That's the same principle. You can't say it about. So I'll just um, pull that out. Pull that out, and then all they just strip down. And that's it. That whole thing lifts out, but I would have to take that off first. Yeah. Oh, so I do. Take a second. You get more of an idea of everything works then. Yeah. That 
ancient. Oh, this is something I've forgotten. It should slide up. Some knives are just going to a tight effect, but it does come out. And that's it. That's how the wave effect looks. So that's how that works. Like that just sort of hooks over there. Well, it hooks over there. Yeah. Simple, really. It's just a bit time consuming. Do you have to remember if anything else is going to be disconnected? I think it's coming out. Now. Yeah. Just that one that's connected. So. That's the same movement, look with the um, brass strap and brass yeah. tube. Look. So I always make it so it strips down. Uh, that comes off this, I won't bother doing it now. So that strips off the side. And then set that now, I can raise from that, I'll probably do that in a second. There you go. I'm fumbling now because I'm rushing a bit, but I don't want to take all night showing you. There you go. The whole lot strips down within the front lot. That should just come off there. That's how that all works. Took the wrong now, but anyway, that's how they work. Tool strips down. It's all connected with bits of fishing. Yeah. Uh, Thirteen pound fishing line. See with that, you not that slender. It's, there's no friction at all, but it's still quite strong. So that's it. Easy when you know how, isn't it? Pardon? Easy when you know how. Well. It I don't, I could never plan anything like this, it's just too complicated. I'll just get a basic idea of what I want to do, put it down on paper, then just make it as big as I think it needs to be, no bigger. Yeah. But then the rest of it evolves. Yeah. You know, you just, see what needs to be done once you've got so far. But, uh, well, it's more interesting as well, I think, it, yeah. than, than just building it by air, than working to plans, isn't it? And this I do, that, you never yeah. know what's going to happen. That just works exactly the same way with that, you know that, I've got that many bits of fishing line everywhere. I've, I don't know, I can pick up, but I can't pick up. But that's how that works, you say, look. That, you know, the wall that collapsed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That comes down, that's just pulled down by. See, look. But it's the same bit of brass tube and brass rod up there. Yeah. See, look. So that's how that works. So, a lot of fun to make. Um, took the deck, but I was it three weeks. Oh, that's it. So um, what's your next project? I'll just I'll just say one thing. Um, with all the little bits of components uh, that have to be glued together, I use super glue. I haven't got the time ready to wait for everything to take. Okay, right. Before I go, I'd just like to mention the fact that because there's so many little components have to be glued together, you haven't got a lot of time to wait for everything to dry. So I use super glue. Super glue is brilliant because you basically can assemble them straight away. But if there's any people out there who've never used super glue, you have to be extremely careful because it will bond skin yeah. in less than two seconds. And uh, once I was only two little components together like that, without realising it on top of the glue gun to my finger. And the super glue two things together like that. And it took me for 30 minutes with a really sharp craft knife to carefully cut between the layers of skin. I didn't draw blood, but it was pretty painful. So, super glue is great, or well, cyanacrylate, I think we call it, but you have to be extremely yeah. careful. I've used it for years and no problem there, man. And then, but it's that way, you can assemble straight away, you so that, look, Let's put it all together with super glue. Yeah. And PVA. So, it's great fun to make, but I'm glad it's finished because I've got the project set. <laughs> so, I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, uh, I can't say what the next one will be. In a few weeks, but it'll be something to tell the dip. Yeah, yeah, something completely new. Probably something completely new.
probably another um, some more sculpture or something. Mm. Anyway, so until then, I'll say bye for now.